What's up guys, David here for another quick little video and today I'm in beautiful California for 24 hours. I was invited by Campagna Motors with the T-Rex and also three-wheeled vehicle. I hope that guy didn't just crash it. You wanna come? Yes, sir. And uh, let's go have some fun. Thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Rick, it's hey. Hey. This is the cause of the gang. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Okay. First of all, you know how to drive a stick shift? Yes. You know how to drive a motorcycle? It's uh, uh, up. It, it's first up. Okay. And then boom. Sequential. Boom. boom. Okay. okay. Be easy on the clutch. You'll see the, the hardest way is just to start the vehicle itself to be engaged get it in go. first gig. Okay. okay. You don't have to hit the throttle. Just release the clutch and you will start moving. Okay. Okay. Well, don't go crazy. I, I don't plan it's, on it. We're fine. Okay. Yeah. It's a rear wheel drive, and we're six inches wider than a car. The You're C6 filming? vet, right? Yeah. 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 Mirrors are fine? Yes. Okay. Get used to it. There we go. Yeah. Good. You see that the pedals are a little bit offset? Yeah. Because. The, the way that the, the configuration of the vehicle, uh, you're in first gear. Okay, so, so keep going, then clutch in, pull yeah. straight down. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was being too nice to it. It's unlike anything, like even this 30 seconds, it's unlike anything I've ever been in. Yeah. So is the company based out of Montreal? Yeah. We're in uh, Boucherville, which is South Shore of Montreal. You know, it's like, you can tell, like, it's a three-wheeled vehicle, but at the same time, you kind of can't. You know, it feels like a four-wheeled vehicle. Oh, yeah, you don't notice that there's only one wheel in the back. Very direct steering, too. Is there any power steering? Nope. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's pure, pure machine. It's, yeah. yeah no, no ABS, no traction control. It's raw power. Love it. Yeah. Six cylinder BMW engine. Yeah, that's right. 1600. What motorcycle engine? It's a K1600. Okay. So it's a big touring bike. Got a lot of torque. Got a 135 foot pound of torque. Yeah, especially with this setup, it's probably better to have a lot of torque than yeah. more horsepower. Yeah, that's right. Once you get the momentum going, I'm sure it's completely fine. Yeah, we're able to pull like 1.3 gen to hit that way. <laughs> tell it is pretty wide overall. Yeah. It's not difficult, it's just different. First time I ever saw one of these was actually on a uh, Rob Deerdeck show. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. the white one. Yeah. And ever since then, I was always curious about what it would be like to actually be in that. And uh, if it would be jarring or not with the big wheel in the back. But you know, so far, so good. So you see, now you're in sunny California trying one. Yeah. You know, because like, motorcycles for a lot of people are really intimidating. Mm -hmm. And I feel as though if they were to drive one of these, they'd feel completely comfortable. Yeah, but it's nothing related except that yeah. we use a except motorcycle. The motor. yeah. Right. Are, in the United States, are they classified as motorcycles? Yeah, gotcha. as motorcycles. But right now, they're working on that motorcycle regulation, oh. which is a three wheeler. I had to avoid that pothole. So close to the ground. Six inches from the ground, and you <laughs> see that the, the way that the suspension works. Everybody thinks that being so low will be a harsh ride, which is not. I'm, uh, yeah, when I was riding with both of these, I was actually pretty shocked. Not that I doubted the ability of the car to be smooth, but mm -hmm. it was very smooth. What gear do you think it should be in? Third? Or second? Third second. Oh, yeah, I, or what do you think this should be? Oh, it's in second. Stay in second? Right. Time on the Holland, so yeah. another reason to be cautious. 
like the how it's straight Kick. down. Yeah. I really like that. It kind of reminds me of like a dog box setup or a tug gear setup. And it's basically taking like the motorcycle gearbox and just flipping it on its side, right? But right now that that bike is a shaft driven one, so we did actually incorporate our own reverse gearbox in there. It's almost like, I know it sounds weird, but it's almost so light that it takes some time to get used to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to really heavy clutches, so. I think another cool thing about it too is like, with it being in the high rev, you know at any time it'll just go. Thanks so much for letting hey, me drive. Uh, I really appreciate it. It was a pleasure. Just leave all it right. in neutral. Okay. Yeah, all right. And there's a handbrake right there on the left. Oh, no. Forget it. <laughs> leave it in here. We're good. Yeah. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my Jupiter. How was it? Good. It was awesome. I had an awesome time. <laughs> cool.